In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this split screen transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got some footage sitting on your timeline on video layer one, we can now go ahead and create a black video. So we'll go to the new item button, scroll up to black video and press OK on this. Now we'll drop the black video onto video layer two. And at the moment it's turned everything black. So to turn this into an animation, we first need to go into opacity. We'll select the free draw bezier or the pen tool if you're from After Effects. We'll zoom out a little bit and we're just going to create a simple rectangle around the outside of our video. Now we'll go ahead and create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. We'll scroll back in time by a second. We'll select the mask and we'll just go ahead and we'll move all of these points in to the middle. So at the moment you've got this transition into this, but we want to go ahead and make this inverted. So select inverted and we're transitioning into our video from this. Although the problem is we can still see this in the background here. And that is because the mask isn't quite close enough together. So to begin with, we're just going to pull the feathering down to zero and that helps the problem a little bit, but the problem is it's still not quite perfect. So in order to help us achieve that effect, we're going to select mask expansion. We'll decrease the mask expansion to around negative 20, negative 25, negative 30, somewhere around there. Just make sure you, you can't see that anymore. Create a brand new keyframe, lining that up with the first keyframe. So select Mark's expansion, select the stopwatch icon. Then we'll move to the second keyframe and we'll pull this back down to 0%. Now, when we play this back, you can see we've got this really nice transition out. Although the problem is this is slightly slanted on the way out. And that's because if we go to our second keyframe and we zoom out, if we select the mask, you can see I haven't done the straightest mask possible. So if I just quickly straighten this out like so, you'll see the transition is now a little bit straighter than it was before. So that is how you do the transition to reveal your video. If you press C here, once the transition has affected to make a cut, you can delete the second part of that. So that is your in transition. Now, if you wanted to transition out, all you have to do is just copy that black video. So we'll hold option on the keyboard and drag that over to the right. We can right click this black video go into nest. So we'll scroll all the way up into nest. We'll name this out transition. Now, if we right click this nested composition and go into speed slash duration, if we select reverse speed, we've now reversed that. So we're starting and then closing. So you would put this at the end of your video. So the in comes in at the very beginning and the out goes at the very end of your footage like so. So we're transitioning in, we're holding for a second and then we're transitioning back out again. And there you go. That is the sliding video transition effect now complete. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.